Spears opens up about getting screwed in the past, Millie Bobby Brown prepares to get screwed in the future, and Mia Khalifa discovers a brand new way of getting screwed in the present day. Welcome to the Weekly Roundup, where we cover the most diabolical yet hilarious news of the week. Our top story today, The Daily Wire is making a rival Snow White movie to troll Disney. In time a prince would come Once upon a time But now that time is gone The conservative media company released a teaser trailer for Snow White and the Evil Queen, starring YouTuber Brett Cooper, following backlash over Disney's upcoming Snow White, starring Rachel Zegler. You know, for a couple of reasons, I'm surprised that the Daily Wire would want to take on this project. First of all, Snow White will always be associated with Disney, and Disney was a known Nazi sympathizer. And second of all, Snow White talks to birds, who are also known Nazi sympathizers. A black bird was caught on camera this week, lifting and removing the Israeli flag off a flagpole. Hello. What is it? I'm in shock. No, 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 no. What? I'm in shock. I'm in shock. We must eradicate all birds. It's really that simple. Big Bird, Daffy Duck, the American Eagle, all of them. Well, except the Raven. Ravens are still the cheapest form of communication and I'm still a Jew. Mia Khalifa was fired by Playboy this week after posting a couple of distasteful tweets to Twitter about the Israel-Hamas attacks. Mia caught heat over the weekend as Israel was being attacked by Hamas terrorists, writing things like, tell the freedom fighters in Palestine to flip their phones and film horizontal. Playboy has said it's terminated their relationship with her, including deleting Mia's Playboy channel on their creator platform. The former porn star influencer has been scrubbed from the company's centerfold platform. Her page has been replaced with a simple not found graphic. Huh, not found. Kind of like those 40 beheaded babies. Let this be a lesson to you girls, that all feminism does is transfer control over your life from your husband to the state of Israel. Terms Millie Bobby Brown has recently accepted as she's announced she's now a feminist after going to a psychic who told her so. When the psychic was asked how she came to this incredible conclusion, she said, it's simple, only feminists believe in psychics. According to the report, Millie went home and Googled, how do I know if I'm a feminist? After reading articles and books, she really grasped the idea of feminism and what it means to me, she says. Ultimately, it's about opportunity. Yes, it is about opportunity, Millie. As fellow feminist Britney Spears can tell you, it offered her the opportunity to choose between abortion and single motherhood. According to an excerpt from Spears' upcoming bombshell-laced memoir, The Woman in Me, Spears claimed that while the pregnancy was a surprise, she was not totally upset. I love Justin so much, I always expected us to have a family together one day. This would just be much earlier than I anticipated. But Justin definitely wasn't happy about the pregnancy. He said we weren't ready to have a baby in our lives and that we were way too young. I'm sure people will hate me for this, but I agreed not to have the baby. I don't know if that was the right decision, Spears, now 41, continued. If it had been left up to me alone, I never would have done it. And yet Justin was so sure that he didn't want to be a father. <sighs> Nothing says female empowerment like making it easier for men to find sex and harder for them to find accountability. Now, while we're dealing with anti-Semitic birds, women being led by psychics, and men creating a nation of fatherless children, the new Democratic Party of Canada is discussing air quality. Addressing air quality in schools and child care centers helps to reduce the spread of infectious diseases like COVID, RSV, and flu, which we know is incredibly important after seeing how full pediatric ERs were last fall. Is that Millie Bobby Brown again? What was her first order of business as a new feminist to join the NDP? You know, this could actually make an excellent storyline for Stranger Things. Only in the upside down could air quality be the biggest concern of 2023. That's not all that was.
was upside down at the NDP convention, the host forced white men to the back of the line for the sake of equality. Our convention has special speaker priority for gender equity. If you identify with a gender other than men for the purpose of the equity seeking rule, you will have received a piece of yellow card stock during the registration process. So please raise this piece of yellow card stock when you arrive at the mic so that myself and Adrian as chairs can identify you easily. Speaking of moving white men to the back of the line, Israel has turned down Zelensky's offer to visit as it's not the time for the grieving nation. Volodymyr Zelensky reportedly intended to pay Israel a solidarity visit as Tel Aviv reels from the deadly multi-pronged attack launched by Hamas on October 7th. The Ukrainian leader was planning to make his trip along U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who since the massacre has been to Israel twice, it is claimed. But Tel Aviv blocked Mr. Zelensky's reported plan, telling him it's not the right time. The report stressed the Ukrainian leader was told he might be able to visit the country shaken by the terror attack at a later date. So this reminds me of when the wife calls up the mistress to have a little chat. It's not so much that she's heartbroken over her husband husband's philandering as much as she's just making sure that little bitch ain't coming for her money. All right, guys, that's it for me today. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out some other videos from my channel. Also, if you want to support me and this channel, please consider subscribing to my Patreon. I post two long-form videos there every month. All right, bye! Iran has fact-checked reports this week that Cristiano Ronaldo could face 99 lashings for adultery. Well, Cristiano's got 99 problems, and fortunately for him, this story ain't one. Most of them are rape charges.